And if you have unlimited money, you can get hit by a bus and you're still happy. So use this incredible app today. Hello everybody, it's me, Game Jacker, and today I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Droid to jack your favorite Android games. Now, Cheat Droid is another game cheating app that is very similar to memory editors such as, for example, Game Guardian, but it is a lot easier to use for newbies as it has a very visual interface that allows you to browse temporary game data, cache files, database files, in order to modify your game state. So it is a kind of safe game editor. Links for the download and everything else down in the description as always. While you're down there, please leave a like for the algorithm. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you want more of this game jacking content, if you want the freshest and best game jacks directly injected into your mouth, Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications. And without further ado, let's get right into this program. So, cheat droid. What are we gonna do? We're gonna jack a offline game. In this case, it's going to be Crossy Road. It's basically a get hit by a bus simulator, except you don't die as you would in real life. And of course, uh, we have monies in this uh, game and uh, we got hit by a car, not a bus this time. So that's how it works. We're gonna try and get unlimited money using the cheat droid. At this point, as you can see, we should have 127 monies. This is gonna change after we get the box, the loot box. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for the loot. Okay, we got 27 money, we go into Cheat Droid over here. Now, Cheat Droid, it will allow you to browse all your game apps, of course, in order to modify the temporary um, data of your game. Now, once you're in your game, you can see all the temporary files that the game puts into your memory on, of your Android device at any time. Now, this is the hard part of using this software. This software allows you to browse all the data. Now, finding the right files to actually modify in order to get working cheats is gonna be the really rough part. If you're not familiar with the basic concepts of game cheating, please familiarize yourself with them. Um, get over to HackerBot by simply hacker uh, by just simply googling HackerBot. Oh. Uh, never mind the search phrase. Uh, just Google HackerBot, go to HackerBot.net, go to the beginner's guide to learn all the basics. Basically what you're looking for in this section is you're looking for any kind of temporary game state file. So save game, player data, player preferences. In this case, the file that we're gonna edit is called v 2 playerprefsxml standing for player preferences, meaning this is temporary player data that records the save state of your game. Anything else like a save game, save state, um, just you need to find the right files and it's not always gonna be the same file, depends on the game, depends on a lot of different factors. Another thing I can recommend is using um, HackerBot.net, of course, just Google HackerBot as we had before and going to our hack finder to find legitimate um, cheats and tutorials, especially on how to hack any specific game, because when it comes to using tools like this, you could either spend a lot of time looking for the files that you can modify to get working cheats working, or you can simply um, check out people that have already done it and follow their tutorials on how to use this tool or other memory editing tools or game jacking tools to get the same thing done. So in this case, we're gonna go into the V2 player press as I've done this before. So um, it's gonna have to terminate the app before we do any data modification. And as you can see in these files, you can see all the variables contained. So these are all variables and they have a value associated with it. And of course, we are looking for something like coins. Nice, how about? How about um, 999999999? Yes, that sounds about right. Coins earned? Uh, maybe uh, 999999999. Nice. Coins spent? How about zero? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So, what we're gonna do now is, of course, we're gonna save the data. 
file was successfully saved. Now, we go back into the game. And of course, hipster. And as you can see, the changes have taken effect and we now have essentially unlimited money and uh, we just got hit by a plane, <laughs> whatever. So that's basically how it works, how you get unlimited money using this method. Of course, unlimited money is only gonna work in offline games generally. And I obviously have no skill at this game whatsoever, which is why I'm cheating, I guess. So that is Cheat Droid. That is how it works. It's an awesome app, except for one thing. Um, there are extremely annoying interactive ads in this thing, which is why it didn't make it very high in our top list of the top game cheating apps and absolutely got beat out by hack app data as it is a better app because it doesn't have the annoying ads, which you have to play through every second edit of data that you make. But it is um, arguably the better app, but it's extremely annoying. Use whichever one you want, Cheatroid or Hack App Data. Hack App Data is a little bit harder to use. Uh, Cheatroid has the extremely annoying ads, but it will probably be kept up to date for a long time as the creator of the app is actually making money off of it. So it's a win, 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 lose, lose, whatever kind of situation. You guys choose whatever, whichever app you wanna download. The download links are as always gonna be down in the description below. Leave a like on the video. If you have any questions concerning any kind of game cheating app, leave it down below and subscribe to the channel for more game checking content. Always fresh, steamy, juicy, delivered straight into your eye holes every day. Anyways, guys, see you guys later. Game Jack Crowd.